we are an island that depends entirely on surface water. So unlike Barbados or Antigua that have wells and aquifers, our water is entirely from rivers. Wasco is responsible for collecting that water, treating that water, and then pumping it to our homes. There, there's so many communities in St. Lucia, if you ask them when last did they get water flowing through their taps, during the dry season, they will tell you a week ago, um, 10 days ago, 11 days ago, two weeks ago. For as long as I can remember, we only had pipe on water on Tuesdays and Fridays. So on those days, we would have to try and rush to fill the jerry cans and the buckets before they took the water. If you ran out of water, that was just it. You'll have to wait until they send water again. No other choice. Back in 2020, we assisted the residents of the Lamaze Monti area in getting access to rainwater harvesting systems, which included not only filters, but also water tanks and other fixtures. They face with this issue where they only get pipe one water only once a week, which is on a Sunday. A project with the aim of helping alleviate the century-long water shortage issues which plagued the area. This project was a brainchild of others and funded by the Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program United Nations Development Program. This project for us is not justified on the basis of there is no water in the community and therefore we perform the role of Wasco. No. One of the things that I think we also have to look at, in addition to rainwater harvesting, is how we use wastewater. Um, and I think that holds more for the larger corporations, um, the hotels and, and, the, and, and some of the manufacturing plants. You want to do th two things with wastewater. You want, first of all, to ensure that the wastewater you're putting back out into the environment is not damaging the ecosystems and damaging the, the species that are in that environment. but also treatment of that wastewater so that it can be reused, you know, so that you could reuse that wastewater for, for things like cleaning, um, irrigation of your landscape and, and other things like that. So I think wastewater is one area that we have not paid sufficient attention to, um, but it's, a, it's an area that whole question of grey water and water reuse is a very serious um, concept that if we're talking about making ourselves more resilient to the effects of climate change, we have to look at how we use every single drop of water that we can, even the water that has already been used and can now be reused, repurposed for non-essential, non-potable means, we have to look at that too. 